Used to be you like this time in the morning. Lay in bed, hear the buses out the window, pull the blankets up. We lived at the place on Shore Parkway. You stand in the doorway wearing my bathrobe, handing you my coffee, leaving for work. That wasn't bad, was it? Not that we had what it took to stay together, obviously. Should have been a few hot dates. That's it. Together for life? I don't know. I don't think that was meant to be. Look at you. The guy you're looking like a saint. Just like when I come home, look at you asleep in the bed. So I was thinking, Jimmy, depending on how you felt about it, maybe, possibly I'd ask Kathleen to have dinner individually. I'll bet she'd like that. I'm aware of it being potentially awkward, but for whatever reason you felt uncomfortable, I'd defer 100%. I forget I ever mentioned it. Well, I'm with me, Phil. Obviously, you'd want to ask Kathleen. No, definitely. It's my next step. I'm going to the Newman Mixer tonight. Yeah, huh? I'd rather have dental surgery. Think she mind me calling at work? You want a number? Ah, oh, that'd be great. So, uh, when do you have to see the dentist? Come on. How you doing, Joy? Are you going to take me seriously this time? I always take you seriously. What's the problem? Clowns are having orgies in the apartment next door to mine. Completely separate question. Are you current with your medication? I knew you'd react like this. You have had a problem with that. I'm periodically delusional, and at present I'm in full position of my faculties. No law against dressing like a clown in your apartment and having sex. Well, what if the shrieking and the cavorting become intolerable? Have you addressed that with them? I have addressed that with them. I told them it bothered me, and they couldn't care less. Let me ask you this. Do they realize that they are dressed as clowns? It's all a big joke to you, isn't it? Their head clown is rude, and he's insulting, and previously he dressed as a leopard. A large feline or the person with the skin affliction? A 
assignments. Lowry back to riding with Valentine. Kersey's got to deal with me. And the Hopkins matter. Happy as we are, the grand jury returned no true bill in regards to Jack Lowry. Let's recognize that some people in the community are going to have a different reaction. As long as it's restricted to squeezing shoes, general ball break, and they got every right to vent. Also, condolences to Jack on the passing of his wife. Okay, that's it. Let's have a safe one. Glad we're back together, Jack. Sounds like an ad campaign. Say, Clemmy. Say, Jack. Have a good one. You too. You know each other, right? Morning. Glad we're riding together, Frank. I got a list of other things I've been uh, thinking about doing that are as stupid as confessing to the grand jury would have been. You could talk me out of those, too. Yeah, show me the list in the car, Anne Marie. I want to see if you gave talking like that in the station house a featured position. Sarge, that woman's on the phone again about the clowns. Chat, do me a favor. Respond to a nuisance call. This woman's driving me nuts. Sure, boss. Yvonne services ten tomorrow? Not to go to that, Nona. Not like the two of you were close. You and me are. Okay, thanks. The sister assaults me, you can always intervene. Morning. Lieutenant? Can I uh, borrow Jack for a second? What's up? Good news. Your specialty. Old Doc Vandeloup in the coroner's office, he weighed in with a dissent on the Hopkins findings. He says that an autopsy cannot distinguish definitively between compression fractures caused by blows and what the paramedics might have done to resuscitate. He also argues that uh, Nagatani missed rib fractures from a kick in Hopkins' back. He says that the cause of death was just as likely to be from blood loss and trauma from gunshot wounds in the street as from anything that happened in the sitting room. Well, he's no fun, is he? I know the difference between a cop who uses his hands to subdue and one who kicks a cuffed suspect on the ground. Not to mention the cop who shoots a guy after he's murdered five people. Not my call, but I'm going to recommend the job is finding be the same as the grand jury's on your conduct following Hopkins' capture. If that happened, I'd feel relieved. Condolences on your wife. Thanks. Sector Frank, neighbor reports a single 1030 robbery in progress at 1021 Second Street, second floor hallway, units to respond. Robbery call. Sector boy responding. We'll handle that job, Central. 10 four, Sector Boy. Look, just, uh, just take the things and go. What else you got in here, old man? I'm not playing with you. Nothing. Clothes and, and, and lamps and stuff. What are you winning around for? Huh? Are you hiding something? What you don't want me to see? Nothing. It's, it's a stamp collection. It's not hardly worth anything. You know, like 20 bucks. Oh, 20 bucks is worth nothing, then, huh? For God's sakes, don't grab ah! me! Don't ever grab me! Please don't take that, man! You don't ever grab me! Hey there, you hear me? What happened? That cat robbed. Some guy must have got in through the fire escape. He stops, comes back, smacks me, and dumps me out of my chair. Can you give us a description? No, not really. Black, white, Hispanic? White. What was he wearing? I, I don't know. You know, jeans and a t-shirt. What do you take out of the apartment? My stamp collection, my VCR, and my clock radio. Let's take you to the station house, have a detective interview you. No, let's not take me to the station house, huh? Have you got insurance? Your carrier's going to require a file complaint. Johnny, you got it. Not to mention if you want us to try catching the guy. Yeah, all right, let's go. 
Hey, actually, I've been doing this for a while. Do you hear that? Merry-go-round music. They dress as clowns, and it wouldn't surprise me if they had a merry-go-round in there to carry on the group sex practices. Are you sure that's what they're doing? Yes, because the exhibitionists too keep the Venetian blinds open and flaunt their privates like baboons. Ask them to turn it down. About all I can do. But then ask and out of consideration close their blinds while they're waving their genitalia in each other's face. Just stay back. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Are you real? Officer Johnson, this is Officer Vian Weaver, New York City Police. Ah, Flavia Cravenites, my husband, Leonard. What can we do for you? So your music's disturbing your neighbor, so if you don't mind... We'll I see one disturbed neighbor who's probably been that way since she went through puberty. You need to keep your music down, and she'd be grateful if you pulled down your shades. So we're not busy uh, murdering civilians. You occupy your time telling other people how to live their lives? Whoa. Have I been disrespectful to you? Why don't you come inside? Maybe we could exchange costumes. If you don't invite them inside, you're not invited inside. Is that your daughter? It's none of your business. That's the last smart mouth I want to hear off you. My partner asked who that girl is. It's a fellow clown. <laughs> I'm out of here. So. No, you're not, no, you're not. How old are you? 18. Step over here. Let me see some ID. Can I just say that what we're about is overcoming jealousy more than anything else? Yeah, that's beautiful. I need ID from you and your wife. Hmm. Is this getting you wet, Joy? Oh, let's see. Where did I put it? 14. Call for transportation. Oh, man, there's 18 year old proof in there, too. Oh, here. We're going down to the station house. Go ahead. You want to come like a gentleman on cuffs? Oh, I will take cuffs if they only squeeze just a little tiny bit. Is this lubricating your pinched, sexless, spinster body? Yeah, that's it, Bozo. Turn around. Folks, we're going into the station house. <laughs> supposed to have a ramp. I guess they haven't got around to it yet. Yeah, well, they have to get around to it. This is a public building. Robbery assault, Sarge. Excuse me. I have only just recently taken over command of this precinct, but we have it as an A number one priority to bring all our facilities into compliance. Yeah, well, it ain't supposed to be that I got to get carried upstairs. No, no, it's not. And we will be rectifying that. If you go up and tell the squad, I'll get them set up over by victim services. If you need to use the facilities, you use the sergeant's bathroom. <laughs> Thanks. It news from the front around here, Gimp's got juice. Handicapped access is supposed to be taken care of by the city. This loudmouth gets dropped in his head, the mayor gonna take the blame? I want a ramp out there, sergeant. I want a ramp, I want a big-ass toilet seat, and I want a blue painted curb in front of the door. I'll get right on it. Who do I got to worry about next? So what do you concentrate on in your stamp collection? Foreign, domestic? What difference does it make? So what happens I used to collect stamps? Is that right? Yeah. I used to enjoy it. Uh, stamps from different countries. How long before I get out of here? John, I know you want to get home, but this is going to take a little while. I already told you, I can't identify him. Just talk to the detective. Sometimes in responding to questions, things occur to you. It could be helpful getting your stuff back. I had a lot of stamps with birds, I seem to remember. Ooh, sounds like you were quite a serious collector. What do you figure your collection's worth? I'm in a chair since I was eight years old. My father bought me a starter stamp album. Anybody in the family takes a trip, they send me stamps. Every day of my life since then. I spent time working on my stamps. Sometimes an hour, sometimes five hours. What's it worth? You tell me what it's worth. There's a chance we'll get it back. Huh. Who are you kidding? You're not gonna get nothing back. Well, we can try, right? John? This is Detective Conroy. He's going to take down the information. Hi, John. How you doing? So you're the guy I get handed off to. 
Investigations are generally handled by detectives, yeah. So he's done? I can stick around if you want me to. Whatever you want to do. Stick around. Sarge. Please tell me I don't now have to answer for some zealous African-American officer decides to call a Ronald McDonald? We had a clown disturbance call. It's kind of group sex activity. The girl's ID says she's 14. Also found a quantity of amyl nitrate. Guy don't got a prescription for. Different situation. Proceed as you would with uh, non-clowns. You want to charge a whole bunch of them? Husband and wife's who I look at. What's going on with the girl? Others, I get the pedigrees, let them go. All right, you want to notify sex crimes and a Bureau of Child Welfare on a girl? Where do you hear the mouth on this tube stick? I'm Sergeant Santoro. Leonard Gravenites. Speak to me. Sir, you and your friends are being charged with endangering the welfare of a minor. Also, possession of a controlled substance. Uh, what? I'm 18. I'm not a minor. It's not what your ID says. I want to say that this is a travesty of justice. In the same way that they attacked Wilhelm Reich, Roman Polanski, Errol Flynn, the unfree must harass and persecute the freer. Those of you not involved in the offenses I've mentioned, maybe you'll provide us with your pertinent information and he can be on your way. Meaning, inform and he'll let you go. You weren't lying. Ain't he a peach? The 18 is the real ID. My wife's a voluptuous woman, isn't she, officer? Put the girl in the sitting room. Take the rest of them inside until we finish your paperwork. If you weren't so ashamed of your feelings towards Flavia, you might not be so drawn to suppressing her. Hey, hey, we're going this way. Lady, what the hell are you doing in this mess? It's just more juice when you do it with a clown. Yeah, come on, Bozo. Left, right, left, right. Too promising, huh? You guy don't want to cooperate. Ain't when you kill yourself over. Mind we do a little running around? Be my guest. We'll let you know we come up with anything. Yeah, I'll be waiting to hear from you. <laughs> want us to come in, take a look around? I'm fine. Maybe something is missing beside what you said. See him run out and know what he took. Mm. You all right, Johnny? Yeah. Can I see to anything for you? I don't want nothing right now, Mrs. Oakley. You okay, John? Yeah, I'm okay. Nobody hurt you nothing, right? No, nobody hurt me. What'd they get? BCR, clock radio, and my stamps. You want me to get you McDonald's or something? No, thanks. I know this is very upsetting to me. We we'll talk to you a second, son. Yeah. Who do you live here with? My mom. Sisters, brothers. Uh, I got a half brother, but he don't live here. Where does he live? I think he stays over by Atlantic Avenue. You think? Yeah, I, I don't know. I I don't hang out with him. Your brother ever been away? No. Ever been arrested? I don't know. How long do you think it'll take us to find out? He got arrested one time. For what? Possession. Of? Heroin. But Ronnie would never do nothing to John. I mean, he knows I'm friends with them. You ever mention that Ronnie was inside John's apartment? Uh-uh. Never. We're not going to put your brother in trouble. We want to know where he hangs out. over there in the blue jacket. Ha uh ha. -huh. 
fast. Spread. Faster than you. Smoke crack for a medical condition? Oh, yeah, good. You have a probable cause to be chasing me. A pipe, which it ain't even illegal. The lazy asshole represented me last time. Makes go away in five minutes. So? You know John Keel? I don't know names. In a wheelchair, lives on Sackett Street, same building as your mother and brother. He got robbed. I had nothing to do with that. Brother never mentioned what was inside his apartment, the stamp collection, so forth. I don't want to rob somebody. I ain't going to rob somebody in my mother's building. That's too bad, Ronnie. Your sheet, a pipe, some residue, that'll send you upstate. Pipe ain't sending me no place. You know it? I know it. At the case, you didn't rob this guy with no legs. You got nothing to worry about. How you doing? What do you need? I come in. So we got a guy we like. Good. It's gonna take you coming down and picking him out of a lineup. Forget it. It's the only way we get the stamps back. Is this guy any relation to the kid in 2B? Same father. Like I said, forget it. John, is the point here to maximize your suffering? What happened? I get robbed and win you as some cop version of Mary Worth? I say I don't want to ID nobody. That's the end of the conversation. You got a burning need to help gimps. Call Jerry Lewis. See if you can answer phones at the telethon. Okay, John. Close the door on your way out. Looks like you and your brother are gonna get away with it. We didn't do it. You don't have to give me no stories. You know whether or not you were involved. If you were, you're the one has gotta live with it. John think I was involved? Have a nice day. GLA, boss. Good. I'll take him in. You want me to take him in, Phil? Gantorski, how many times are you gonna go back there today? I was only looking to help him out. You don't need no help. I wanna see him myself. It's all over the radio with these clowns. How about I've had cops from two other precincts, plus the task force. All of them got business here today. Kathleen Margaret Doyle. Hiya, Sarge. What are you doing here? What kind of greeting set. I want to talk to you about something. Um, Phil uh, asked me to dinner. Yeah, he mentioned to me he'd be doing that. It's all right. You don't have to ask me. It's all right. You go to dinner. Since when? You want to go? <clears throat> what are you going to do? I got the Newman Club mixer. Oh, you're going to. I'm putting in an appearance. With any luck, I'll be home in time for the third period of the Ranger Try game. Try to allow for the possibility you might enjoy yourself. Which is why I say the third period. Sarge, the male clown in there wants to talk to you. Yeah, I'll run right back there. Hey, Kathleen. Hi. So, hey, Kathleen. Hi, Jack. Hi, Nuna. Hi. I'm, I, I gotta get going. Are we on? Yeah. We get that complainant to come in? No. Oh. Jack, you know, all we got is drug paraphernalia and a skell has a verifiable address. That's a DAT. I know. All right. I got to go back there anyway. I'll bring him out. Everyone has a reason for being here, I assume. Give me the one that's here for the crack pipe. That's me. Sergeant, my wife is being stared at. I want you to put a stop to it. Let me get out of here first. Maybe if your wife put a coat back on, she wouldn't be such a magnet for attention. It shouldn't be incumbent on her to put a coat back on. You should assert sufficient authority so she's not made to feel like meat. I don't know what your shot is, Mr. Gravanides, but my men have dispersed, and you ought to try buttoning your lip. 
My wife is voluptuous. Okay. She's got, she's got very large breasts. Okay. At present, she happens to be wearing a particularly uh, revealing ensemble. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> we'll let you know when your lawyer gets here. Well, can my wife and I at least expect a thank you note for providing masturbatory fantasies to the entire precinct? You want one too? Huh? So you can consider yourself part of the team? Bunch of weirdos, huh, Sarge? That's a global village. Hey, take the desk the rest of the tour. I'll ride around in a car. We each have a role to play, Dickie. I wouldn't know how to do what you do. So, there they are. You don't see that many clowns every day. Hell no. Or a chest like that either. Speaking of the taller female clown. Exactly. Oh, she is well developed. Is that big with you? Salacious conversation in the workplace, Anne Marie. I'm this close filing a job grievance. Sorry. I'm teetering right on the brink. How about we take my embarrassment somewhere else? If I say let's gas up the car, you gonna take me wrong? Hey, officer. They're letting me go with a ticket. Good for you. <laughs> you know, I hate to tell you, but I never should have been locked up in the first place. Hope it wasn't too traumatic. It was plenty traumatic. In there with hardened criminals. Sexual freaks like you got in this place. Might decide to sue for emotional distress. Ronnie, shut up. Sit down. Wait until I get your property envelope. Sick of the harassment, that's all. I want to talk to you about something. What are you doing, Tito? Come on. Come here a minute. I'm going to bring you up to talk to a detective. What are you doing, Tito? Hold, Hold him, him. Nona. I got him. You're going to get me locked up? You little rat. I told you he was my friend, Ronnie. Oh, he must be more than your friend. You're willing to sell out your own blood, huh? Come on. You little faggot. No. Do nothing to me. You little faggot to me is what you are. Huh? Hey, come Take on. Keith. Upstairs. My brother's George Washington, right? He never told a lie. Between you and your brother, who does a jury believe? I tell you, and I tell them two uniforms watching. I ain't giving up no confession. It's up to you. We'll turn over what we have to the DA. They'll make their case. Sometime around the year 2015, you'll get out of prison. <laughs> For a banged up VCR and some postage stamps? I don't think so. How about for throwing the guy you robbed out of his wheelchair? How do you think that'll play in court? The only way you help yourself is we recover the stuff. That's it. Tell us what you did with it. If we manage to get it back, you'll buy yourself some rhythm. If you don't tell us, that's fine. They'll take you to central booking, and I'll go home. No Shinden Avenue, you. There's a candy store. Got fifty dollars from some Russian prick works there. You mind we run over there and try to grab it? What well, would I mind? You've done everything else. Bonnie Turbovic, Sergeant. I represent Leonard and Flavia Grevenides. How do you do? I have here a photostatic copy of the alleged minor's birth certificate, also a copy of a prescription for amyl nitrate, signed by Leonard Grevenides' physician. I trust that's sufficient documentation to secure my client's release? I'll call the DA's office. Johnson, villain waiver. A couple of clowns are attorneys here. Show this to the detective from sex crimes. Thank you. Detective. 
Sergeant, I wanted you to see this. Where were you born, Willow? Rhineland General Hospital in Cincinnati, Ohio. Date of birth? September 10th, 1979. This is a phony. You can see it was taken <gasps> off as zero. The hell if it is. I got that at the Cincinnati City Hall, and I had to stand in line for four friggin' hours. How much did this cost me? <gasps> Three bucks. Excuse me. Huh? I told you. Why would you be carrying an ID that says you're 14? This may shock you, but some guys like their stuff young. How'd you get involved with this guy, Leonard? He saw me at a pizzeria and he offered me 200 bucks to dress like a clown and let him get over. Look, I'm sure there's reasons you're not living home. Yeah, you might say that. What you're doing is not the only alternative. Her ID checks, she's free to go. Ta-ta, boys. Can I find a place to stay for the night? <laughs> He's kidding. You're sweet. I bet I find a place. You realize she said that about finding a place to hurt your feelings. She's not as tough as she thinks. The time she finds that out, Hector, you might be old. Or she might be dead. Guess you can't save the world. Sometimes you can't even hail it going past. Customers. Real clientele like yours, because I'm sure they're gonna wait. But you take me an alley like KGB. I tell you, I don't know these stamps. The guy sold them to you, gave you up for us. Sold me? Then. Hey, Jagoff, we want that stamp album back. Then you keep up with the Shylocking and the untaxed gasoline and the swag and whatever the hell else you got going. I got the rotten teeth. You're hurting my jaw. Good. Uh. We're riding around the block. We get back, you're standing here with a stamp album. Everything's Jake. You're not. We're coming into your place, and we are going to mess you up. Uh. Why he does not believe I'm a legitimate merchant? Once around the block. Who's here? The self-appointed guardian of public decency. Apparently there was some validity to what I was saying, Sergeant. Apparently there was, Joy. What happens now? Well, perhaps you could adopt a little bit more of a live and let live attitude and they can tone it down a bit. No sanctions are being imposed? Like what, Joy? Stoning in the town square, hmm? Look at you. Look at you. And when was the last time that plain as dirt face was kissed? Hmm? All right, let's cut this short. Don't be unkind, dear. This may be the oldest virgin in the city of New York. It was it was such a nice family at that apartment before you. <laughs> you know something? Hmm. I think she just may be a virgin. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, excuse me, I don't feel bad. Carrie Nation's feelings might have been hurt. You're a fat creep. Turns out his wife and pays teenagers to get you off. We don't expect you to feel bad about anything. <laughs> Come, people! We spent quite enough time in here today. What's everybody so upset about it? It's just sex. DA needs us to hold it for the grand jury, but I figured you'd want to take a look. Everything there? I think so. Saw some of the pages got ripped. I can fix them. Fortunately, the VCR and the clock radio were already gone. It's all right. Probably they're a little easier to replace. Oh, this Arizona statehood my dad sent me when they went to the Grand Canyon. Oh, this Appomattox? He got me when they went to Virginia. You should know, John, it was Tito coming forward, let us get it back. He got to feeling guilty. I don't think he had anything to feel guilty about. This was his brother. It wasn't him. He's 
still got your collection? Someplace. 1968 six cent law and order issue. Honoring the police. Worth about a quarter. It's kind of a nice stamp. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta leave this here, right? We'll get it back in three days. It's all right. If you want, we'll run you home. Sure. You never had a stamp collection. Get a beer? Sure. We gotta get out of the car first. I wanna say it now. What? How grateful I am. You stood by me. Same how you'd be there for me. Everyone wants to think they're that kind of person. That's who you are. I'm no saint, eh, Marie? I'm glad of that, too. I got elements of scumbag. I could see that. Sure tried taking advantage of me every opportunity. Other ways. What other ways? Take it on faith. Got some kind of secret life? I'm a woman trapped in a man's body. <laughs> You'd be amazed how many people that's true of. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some dinner. You do have a secret, don't you? Being someone you can count on. Stands by you. That's not me. No, huh? Believe me, no. I'm not stand up. I chase a lot of ass. That's who I am. Chase mine, you're gonna catch it. Try the veal. It's the best in the city. I don't usually eat veal. That's from the Godfather. Oh, right. For, before Pacino went into the bathroom to get the gun. I remember. My head's like a warehouse of useless information. I like it. You can quote from movies. Do you? Yeah. So how is Jimmy today at work? He's all right. He told me you asked his permission before you called me. Only right. I've asked his permission my whole life. <laughs> that's all right, though. Right? And that's the way it is. His face lights up every time he talks about you. You know that? He thinks pretty highly of you, too. I guess, otherwise we wouldn't be sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> Put it this way, you're the first partner he's ever introduced me to. That's large. For Jimmy, that is large. I wasn't being sarcastic. Didn't hurt. I gave him a thousand dollars. Sir, splendid. How you doing? I'm Jimmy Doyle. Penny O'Rourke. <laughs> <laughs> you heard of 
jungle scream before that was me pinning my name tag on. Is this your parish? It used to be until I moved to Manhattan. I see. Is it yours? I don't get the mass as much as I should, but yeah. So what do you think of the mixer? Oh, my girlfriend was gone. I guess, I mean, it's okay, the mixer. I live in Manhattan now. What do you do? I'm a cop. Seriously? Yeah. My dad's a cop. So is mine. I've never dated a cop in my life. That's a rule you made? For a while, I felt like I swore a vow only to date lawyers in Manhattan who thought they were God's gift to women. Anyways, nice night out, huh? If they ever finish that medley from Greece, you think you might want to dance? I'm not a very good dancer. Come on back inside. I'll show you how. Maybe I'll see you in there. It's been way too long. I won't. Okay. Saying the tough talk's your secret side, Frank. I'm not buying. 